Good afternoon. Thanks for tuning in to Dear Cyber Sue. I'm Susan McCord. Today's topic is, what does a romantic evening consist of for most women? I've talked to quite a few men about this because they've said to me, do all women need to be wined and dined? Do they need to have these expensive dinners when you go out on a first date? And the answer is no. Take them out for coffee, maybe a light lunch somewhere. Go for a walk, sit down and get to know who they are. Like find out if you even like them before you spend a lot of money. Now, I know there's some women out there saying, shut up, Sue. You know, they wanna go and be spoiled like this. Well, that can happen at a later date if you end up in a reciprocated romantic relationship. But in the meantime, when you're getting to know somebody, you want to see who they are at the core. Some of the men I've spoken to have also said that they find most women high maintenance, that they want all this stuff, they wanna be spoiled. Well, if that's the case, you need to change up your the people that you're dating because not everybody is like that. I have numerous friends, clients, so many women I know that are just happy to be in the company of a guy who treats them well. So once you've established a reciprocated connection with somebody, what are some of the romantic things you can do? There's very, very simple gestures that can make a woman's day. And it can be something as simple as sending her a sweet text throughout the day, give her a mystery date, tell her that you're gonna pick her up at a certain time, tell her what to wear, because if you're going hiking, she needs to know that. Do things like this, like that's romance, where they know that you're putting energy into planning it. And that's exciting for them. It makes them feel special. It makes them feel like you really wanna be with them and you can't wait to see them. Little things like that are, are really, really big things in the scheme of it all. And that's what makes a woman attracted to you because you're taking the time to be different, to, to make her feel special. Have a date night in and make her dinner. Sit on the couch after and just talk and hold hands or cuddle or whatever you wanna do, but don't make the bedroom the priority after something like that. She wants to know that she can trust you and that you're there for her. It's not just about the happy ending every time she comes over. She wants to know that there's su substance and there's a solid relationship that's coming forth here. Because once that happens, women are much more interested in having a physical, physical connection. They need to be emotionally connected to you first. And how that can happen is by you listening to her, having her back on certain things, supporting her, and vice versa. You want to hear the same thing from her. And when this happens, it's sort of a slow romantic way of getting to having a stronger foundation between the two of you. Doing little things for her without having to be asked or maybe buying a, just a small little gift about something that she mentioned that she, she saw in a store. Anything like that will let her know that you're thinking about her when you're not with her. And that's also a really, really good trait to have. And it's something that women look for in a man that they know that she's a priority to them. That is something that's really important. They don't wanna feel like they're just one of many. Because today when people date, sometimes they date three and four people at once. So you want to know, the woman wants to know that she is special to you. So keep showing her that. I'm not talking about love bombing her. I'm talking about just the simple things that show respect towards a woman that you're dating. If you're staying in for the evening, light a few candles. Put on some nice music. I know that sounds very cheesy and just sort of generic but it actually works really well. Women just want to know that you enjoy their company and you're happy to be with them. So little things like that just add to the ambiance and make it a little bit better. I understand that some men feel frustrated right now because they're not sure what they're supposed to do. Women don't necessarily like chivalry anymore. They want to be independent, but you can figure that out pretty quickly with the type of person that you're dating. You can also sit down and say to them, hey, you know, what would you consider a romantic date? You can ask them questions like this. You just because you're, I mean, you're not supposed to just try and figure everything out all the time. Having conversation with your partner can lead you into understanding what might make them happy as well. 
So pay attention and listen. Like women want to be heard, but a lot of guys don't take the time to really hear what's being said. I can promise you that if you hear them, your life will be so great if you decide to have a relationship with them because there's no confusion. The communication is open and it's available. A lot of times people shut down and they don't really hear what the other one is saying. So you lose a lot of, of connection here when you do that. So that the longer you take to get to know somebody is always great, but it doesn't mean that you can't get to know them within three or four dates and understand whether you want to keep going with them. So doing a few romantic gestures here and there will teach you a lot about how they receive it and how they give back. Pay attention to that as well. Be really careful, guys, that you don't just go in because you're, you're super sexually attracted to them because that can blind you sometimes to find out who she really is. Spend a little bit of time with her. Get to know her first because once she's emotionally connected to you, you're going to have great sex if you guys get to that place. But she needs to be able to trust you that way and she needs to feel that she can let her guard down with you. And the only way to do that is if she gains a trust and understands that you're there for good reasons and not just one reason. Being thoughtful and affectionate are two great gestures that women like as well. Obviously, they don't want a lot of PDA outside too quickly. But as I said earlier, holding hands, you know, small kisses, things like that, those are all great because you're respecting her. You're also understanding that you don't need to go and make a big display out in public, but you're letting her know she's with you, which is really nice. Women like that. Give her a few compliments. Let her know you appreciate that she took the time to look good for you. She will appreciate that and she will continue to do that. So that's a win-win. And also you'd make the same thing for her. Look good for your date because women really appreciate a man who knows how to take care of himself and look good. Intimacy is always important. I get that. But for, foreplay outside the bedroom is just as important. Sometimes people want instant gratification and it turns women off. They just want to know that, hey, there's a guy that actually wants to talk, actually wants to get to know who they are. If you do that and all these small romantic gestures that I talked about, you'll have a much better experience. It's really not that difficult to maintain a romantic connection with your partner. You know what makes her happy. You can see it on her face. You know what makes her feel special. Some couples become complacent over the years. They give up with the romance. They don't make such an effort anymore. They figure, what's the point? It's the same thing over and over again. Don't let it be the same thing over and over again. You both have the power to change that. You don't have to be complacent. It's just a matter of changing up things once in a while and bring the romance back. Of course, it can get lost when we're busy and we have stuff going on, but don't let it completely dissipate in your partnership. Romance needs to be reciprocated. It's not one person's job to make the other feel special and feel loved and appreciated and complimented and all those things. You have to have a reciprocated rapport here. Otherwise, the relationship will become unbalanced and the other person won't feel appreciated, won't feel like you're making any effort. So it's really important to understand that. Anything that you have in a partnership should be reciprocated. Both people need to make sure that they put their effort in to keep the relationship flourishing because it's a partnership. It's two people. Thank you so much for tuning in today. Please leave any comments you have, any show topics, and please click like on the video. Thank you so much for tuning in today. Bye-bye.